A truck is transporting beets and potatoes. The density of beets is 720 kilograms per cubic meter, and the density of potatoes is 760 kilograms per cubic meter. The total mass of the beets and potatoes is 12,000 kilograms. If the volume of the beets is B and the volume of the potatoes is P, write an equation that relates the variables. We know the total mass of the beets and potatoes is 12,000 kilograms, so we can write the equation mass of beets plus mass of potatoes equals 12,000. Now cross multiply the density formula to solve for mass. This gives us m equals dv. Now that we have an expression for mass, rewrite the first equation. Recall that our first equation was mass of beets plus mass of potatoes equals 12,000. Since m equals dv, replace each mass with the product of density and volume. Finally, plug in the known densities for d and the proper letters for v. The equation that relates the variables is 720b plus 760p equals 12,000. In part b, we'll find the intercepts of the relation. Let's find the p-intercept in the blue box and the b-intercept in the orange box. At the p-intercept, b is 0, so plug in 0 for b. This gives us 760p equals 12,000. Divide both sides by 760. This gives us p equals 15.8. Let's record the p-intercept in the table and move on to the next intercept. At the b-intercept, p is 0. Plug in 0 for p. This gives us 720b equals 12,000. Divide both sides by 720. The value of b is 16.7. Let's record the b-intercept in the table. In part c, we'll graph the relation in two ways. Since there is no dependent or independent variable, we can graph this as p equals minus 0.95b plus 15.8 or b equals minus 1.06p plus 16.7. Let's start by graphing p equals minus 0.95b plus 15.8. Label the x-axis b. Label the y-axis p. Let's graph the line using the intercepts from the table in part a. Plot the p-intercept at 15.8. Plot the b-intercept at 16.7. We have two points, so we can draw the line. It's appropriate to use a line for this graph since we can have decimal values for volume. Now we'll graph b equals minus 1.06p plus 16.7. Swap the axis labels and replot the points. The lines look very similar, but that's just because the intercept values of 15.8 and 16.7 are so close.
If you look carefully, you'll see that the intercepts have indeed been swapped. Moving on to part D, if the volume of the potatoes is 7.3 cubic meters, what is the volume of the beets? The volume of the potatoes is 7.3 cubic meters. Plug in 7.3 for P and solve for B. Plug in 7.3 for P. Next we get 720B plus 5,548 equals 12,000. Subtract 5,548 from both sides to get 720B equals 6,452. Divide both sides by 720. The value of B is 8.96. In the first graph from part C, we can see that the ordered pair 8.96, 7.3 exists on the line. Or looking at the second graph from part C, the point 7.3, 8.96 exists on the line. 